Maharshi University has always been at the cutting edge of sustainable living. And now with their new center, they prove that a building and community can give back more than it takes. This building is kind of a signal of hope for people who don't, maybe don't think that's possible. If they don't think that's possible, they can point here and see that it is. We needed a place that reflected the principles we teach. If we teach in a building that, uh, if we teach one thing in the classroom, but the building tells a different story, then which gives the stronger lessons? Annually, the Sustainable Living Center will produce 30% more energy than it uses. This is um, a shot of the utility cottage, and it has photovoltaic panels on it, and it also has all the inverters that convert DC electrical energy to AC energy that we use in the building. And then this is our own little power center. We're our, we're our own little utility company here. And if you truly want to be sustainable, you don't, you don't just really want to install uh, energy efficient light bulbs, but you want to make sure that the source of your energy is sustainable. And everything about this building is sustainable. From the 25,000 earth blocks made by students, to the windows that allow for sunlighting, to the trees that provide the building support. The Sustainable Living Center is close to the hearts of faculty and students. I think it's very important to first of all realize that you can do something and one, one thing you can do is lead by example and I think this building leads by example. You know we can yell at uh, our legislators about renewable energy but if we don't have our own building that uses it what's the point of that? Uh, studying in this school building it makes you feel like uh, you are more yourself and at the same time, it makes you feel like, it makes you appreciate your environment much more. It's actually really amazing that students are allowed to do this because this building's so new and young and there's so many things that are going to be done. And the way this university kind of works is this project, this really homework assignment is actually going to be used. And students are going to do this. It gives you hope. It makes you think you can do something great when it's really intimidating, but you kind of come together. It's a beautiful place to work. And they're not done yet. Plans for an edible landscape, a sustainable sewer system, and water collection are in the works that will eventually take the building entirely off the grid. Oh, Reporting in Fairfield, Kate Alt, KTVO News.